Hey everyone, my name is Ian, but you might know me as Collector Emitter. And I'm here today to talk to you about a new pedal that I have designed with my good friend Alec at Mask Audio Electronics. This is Cascader. Now Cascader is a one knob fuzz with a second foot switch that adds in a second fuzz at the front of the circuit. This can result in some smooth distortion tones, but also over the top saturation, gating and noise. It's really gnarly, you're gonna love it. In a second, Alec is gonna talk about the technical info, like where the idea came from, the design process, and most importantly, what makes Cascader unique. But real quick, I wanna say this is something we've been working on for the past year. The idea stems back even further than that. So it's exciting to finally get this out there. Very excited for you to hear this. Uh, I'm gonna have a demo up on my channel. I'll put that link up top as well as in the description. And then there's a short demo at the end of this video, which gives you a basic idea of what the pedal sounds like. And over the next few days, some of our good friends that make demos will be releasing their own demos of this pedal on their channels. Keep an eye out for those. That's all leading up to the release on Halloween. So on Halloween, you can buy this pedal directly from Mask Audio Electronics on their website, as well as from their dealers worldwide. There's a handful of those now in a lot of different countries. So I'm just gonna put the list in the description. You can find the easiest place for you to buy. Um, the last thing I wanna say is that we released Part Garden roughly two years ago, and the support for that has been overwhelming. Uh, we thought we might release one batch of 20 and leave it there and now we have over 100 out into the world. It's so cool to see your photos on your boards, your videos using the pedal, and see that some of my favorite guitarists actually own them now. Uh, just, just very cool, very humbling. So thank you all for the support. I hope you like Cascader as much. We certainly do. We're very excited to share this with you. So I'm gonna let Alex talk about some of that technical info. Thanks. When Ian and I started working together, we just kind of sat down and figured out what we wanted. And we took our influences of like wild fuzz, harmonic percolators, death by audio, uh, Devi ever, and kind of more classic flavors like your electro harmonics and buzz and just put them into a primordial ooze. And we had so many different, we had three or four different ideas going. Um, one of them ended up, developing in the park garden, but we had this other idea called Cascader, which wasn't as wild, was a bit more tame. And obviously we wanted the more wild idea and that's why park garden came out first. So in January of 2021, I just on a whim opened up the Eagle file for Cascader and it was a mess. <laughs> I, I've developed a lot more as a designer in the two years since releasing Park Garden. So I just kind of went back through it, cleaned some stuff up, uh, ordered a prototype on a whim. And when that came in, I, I sent a clip off to Ian, said, hey, I, I decided to revisit Cascader. And he listened to my clip and was like, what if we did it as a one knobber? And my brain just started going. With like Park Garden, you have multiple controls so you can make it wild and crazy where you could tune it back in. And with a one knob pedal, you have to start in much more of a neutral place because you only have, you have one knob on the pedal and then whatever controls on your guitar and that's it. So we went into the development process and immediately I just couldn't do one knob that I wanted it to just be a little bit more tweakable. It's still one knob. You have your voicing and you kind of mess around with that voicing that you have the ya toggle returning to change up the nature of the fuzz. On one side, it's more of a fuzz distortion, kind of ratty in character, but with a bit less gain and more mid-range. On the other side, it's much more fuzzy, doomy, um, with a bit of gating so it doesn't just be into a mess of noise. And then we decided to have the cascade switch be a foot switch. So if you want to, it's a performance thing where if you step on this second foot switch, it's more gain and more harmonics. But if you just kind of want to leave it on all the time and ride your volume knob to clean it off, you could do that as well. 
it's truly the ethos of a one knob pedal, but giving you a bit more control with it. And so we really kind of nailed the voicing we wanted right off the bat. And we did all these prototypes that you can see here, just fine tuning the frequency response, getting it so where even if you had anemic Telecaster pickups or super hot humbuckers, it would still kind of be within the zone that we wanted. So we just iterated and iterated till we came across this prototype that both Ian and I were happy with how it responded across the board to both of our rigs and all of our guitars. And then we sent it on a cross country journey to all of our friends with their very weird specific rigs. You know who you are. I know you're watching. And we got very little criticism, mostly people saying, you know, I love how this setting sounds, or I love how it rolls off on the volume. And we just took that as a good sign. I did up a final board layout. We brought Taylor Adams from Deep Space Devices back in to do his normal thing. We gave him very little direction and he came out with this amazing sci-fi artwork, again, with the dog, and then sent that artwork off to Jordan Clayton from Pinebox Customs, who did still an incredible job. I mean, look at the detail on this thing. Jesus. And we wound up with Cascader, even taking down to the color scheme for this with the red, black, and white, kind of reflecting the influences of Electro Harmonics and Devi Ever. So Cascader will be releasing a few days from now on Halloween, um, not only on the Mask Audio website, but from our dealers worldwide. We got uh, Break the Machine in the UK, Pedal Market in Germany, Deluxe Guitars and Pedal Empire out of Australia, and newcomer Relic Music out of New Jersey in the United States. And yeah. We hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 